Now you've been talking to this guy, or rather this guy has been talking to you and you want to know if he truly cares. On this episode, we find out how to know a guy truly cares about you. My name is Harold Amenia. Welcome. Now ladies, there are several ways you can find out if a guy truly cares about you. And in this episode, we're going to review seven ways to discover if a guy truly likes you. My name is Harold Amenia, like I said, and welcome to our channel. Now this channel is a channel that was created for my wife and I, but for the purpose of this video, I am the one in charge today. Remember to subscribe and share. And of course, like, comment if this video is helpful for you. Now, I must mention, before I go into the details, ladies, there's always that little tiny voice you need to listen to when dealing with the man. Um, if somebody truly cares about you or truly cares for you, there'll be that tiny voice that will whisper to you at all times when dealing with them. Now, let's get into the pointers. Number one, if a guy truly cares for you, he makes time for you. Now, let's not kid ourselves. Um, people often find the excuse of, I'm busy, I don't have time. Well, it's always one thing or the other if they don't like you. For me, I always say busy is just a word to say that I'm not available or I'm not interested. When somebody truly likes you, regardless of how busy they are, they make time to pick your calls, they make time to reply your text, or just to simply be there for you, regardless of how crazy their schedules might be. Now, let's be honest. Regardless of how busy one gets or how crazy one's schedule gets, if they really, really, really care about you, they will make time for you. People make time for very important things in their lives and it's as simple as that. So the next time someone is giving you an excuse of they being busy, well, then you know where you stand in their lives. Point number two, ready, ready, ready? Now, when a guy likes you, he takes interest in your goals and ambitions, ladies. Now, if someone doesn't like you, obviously, you know, you'd know they don't they don't take interest in asking questions that, you know, relate to your goals, your ambitions, you know, what you what you care about in terms of your future, your career um, in your life in general. OK, but when somebody truly likes you, they want to find out what your career ambitions are, what your ambitions in, in terms of even fitness, something as, as trivial as fitness, if you will. Not only are they interested in discovering or finding out where you're heading in life when it comes to your career, your goals, and your life in general, but they also want to know where they fit in and how they can even support you and um, spiral you to greatness. Number three. He is intentional about his actions towards you. Now, when a guy likes you, ladies, I'm sure you know this. They are very, very careful how they treat you, okay? Your emotions matter to them. Your feelings matter to them. What you think matters to them. What your opinions about matters and, you know, life in general matters to them. And because of that, they are very, very careful how they treat you. No guy that likes you would like to hurt you. And for this reason, they always treat you with care. Now, don't get me wrong. In the case of disagreements or conflicts or whatever thing there might be, there still is a way they go about resolving these things with you. When a guy likes you, they are very, very careful how they treat you and they take your emotions very, very personal. I'm not saying a guy who likes you is going to treat you or is going to be an angel around you, okay? They, of course, they are human. There will be times when they might fall time and all that. But even when they do, the way they go about it is always a sign for you to know that they truly like you. The apologies and even the sorries are always there, okay? When a guy likes you and they offend you, they are quick to say sorry without you even asking. So the next time you always have to chase a guy for a sorry, then mm, you might want to reconsider the relationship because trust me, from where I stand, if I really, really, really like somebody, I'm not going to take their emotions for granted. Number four, he says more of we than I. Now, what do I mean by this? When a guy truly likes you, they try to revolve or make everything in their lives about the two of you and not just them, all right? They try to involve you in their daily lives. They try to make you a part of their subject. So even when they own something on they are embarking on a project, it's always about we rather than I. So the next time you hear a guy use the singular pronoun in most cases, especially when they shouldn't, um, just know that you probably uh, are not fitting into their bigger scope of things. 
No, I'm sure you get the drift. What I'm trying to say is that whenever they have to embark on a project in anything that they get themselves involved in, they try to rope you in and make it about the two of you rather than just themselves. So the next time a guy is constantly mentioning I instead of we, even in cases when they shouldn't, then mm, you might want to reconsider your position in their lives. Now, also to buttress this point, they take your feelings into consideration and in every situation, they also want to know if you are on the same page or you're in agreement with whatever thing they decide to embark on. So, for instance, if you're going to a restaurant or you're even choosing where to go for dinner, they consider where you probably would like to go out for dinner rather than where they would consider. They take your decisions and your choices very personal and they make it about the two of you rather than just themselves. Point number four, he is selfless when it comes to you. Now, ladies, what I mean by this is when a guy likes you, they are very, very, very selfless around you. They are willing to share the very little and all they have with you. And it's more about the two of you rather than just themselves. So in decision making and even in choices, they try to consider what your choices might be over theirs. So the next time you're hanging around a guy who is always about themselves and always going for what they prefer, as opposed to yours, then you might want to reconsider your position in their lives. Hi guys, guess what? We just finished having a meeting with Team Adazi and we are so excited. Our honeymoon trip is on its way and we are headed to Dubai and Abu Dhabi. It's the 10th anniversary celebration for Adazi Travels and we're joining them right on that trip. So come with us and let's have some fun. Adazi at 10, it's a vibe. Let's go, see you soon. Number five, he tries to show you off. Now, I get it. There are certain people that may be discreet and all that, but when a guy really, really likes you, he doesn't mind showing you off to his friends and family and also the people that he loves. Anybody that really, really likes you would love for other people that he cares about to know you exist. Now, when men are not interested in doing anything long term with you or they are just interested in a quick in and out, they hide you. Most people would use the excuse of, oh, you know what, I'm discreet. Oh, I want to make, oh, I want to wait to the right time before I introduce you to my friends and loved ones. But trust me, there's always that one, at least that one particular friend or loved one that they are very interested in you meeting. So if you do not know anyone involved in your man's life, then you might want to question your position in their lives. Now, this point is not a one size fits all because definitely there are some people that want to take their time with people and depending on how long you guys have been together or how far you have come in your relationship, that could determine or, you know, that could determine whether they choose to, you know, show you off or introduce you to their friends and loved ones. But I mean, you get the point. If you have come a long way with somebody and um, things are beginning to look a bit clear, definitely you should be meeting their friends and loved ones. Next on the list, he talks about the future with you. Now, any man who has future plans for you or takes interest in taking you on the long haul would definitely discuss the future with you. He will try to put you somewhere in their plans when it comes to whatever they are, you know, preparing for, for the future. You know, they always try to come to an understanding with you as to how both of you are going to do things in future. So he talks about the future more than even the now most of the time because they understand that if they really are going to build a life with you, the future matters than the now. Now, a guy who truly cares about you would definitely want to have you in their future. So why not discuss the future with you? After all, you're going to be a part of it. The last but not least, he values and respects your time. Now, anybody who truly cares about you values and respects your time, and I'm sure you know this. They value the time that you give off to them. They value the time spent with you. They value every little thing you do for them because they truly appreciate the fact that that time could have been spent doing other things. People that don't care about you really don't care how you spend your time and even if you give them any of that time at all. So when somebody truly cares about you, they would make comments like, oh, I appreciate you coming. Oh, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to call. Oh, yesterday we spent a good time. I really appreciate you making time to come over. You know, the little time they spend with you, they really show appreciation for it. And that is when you know they truly care about you. Now, if someone doesn't care about you, trust me, they're going to be doing things that will make you feel like you're wasting your time. Well, sometimes you have the hope that 
they might change. So you, you know, you cling on to that hope and they, things never really change. OK, they might do things like canceling dates on you at the last minute or canceling setting appointments that you might make at the last minute. And that's when you would realize that truly and really they do not value your time and would rather spend it elsewhere. Now, quick disclaimer here. Um, people have different ways of, of expressing care and affection. Um, but I believe these are but a few ways that you can actually tell when someone really cares about you. And always listen to that tiny voice that always plays at the back of your mind because that voice never lies. That's it for today's episode. It's been great coming your way. Now, feel free to let me know in the comment section which areas you would like for me to explore in my subsequent videos, and I'll be more than happy to read from you. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe and click on the bell button so that you can get notifications whenever I make a post. My handle across all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat is Harold Amenya, and that of my wife is I am Mrs. Amenya. It's been great coming your way um, on this particular episode. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.